We all know about the LEGO Dark Trooper attack set by now. It comes with three Dark Troopers, Luke Skywalker, and an admittedly nice hallway build. But I built the set over a year ago, and I'm sick of looking at it. I think it's time to give it an upgrade. And this won't be like any other video where I just expand the hallway and add in a ton of Dark Troopers, but I'm actually going to be adding in a ton of other minifigures, accessories, and even attempting to create a huge interior for Moff Gideon's light cruiser. So, without further ado, let's get started. So here are all the parts and minifigures from the Dark Trooper attack sets that we'll be using. This does not include all the bonus minifigures, which you're going to have to stick around to see what those are, but... Let's go ahead and dump these out and see what we got to work with. We have one instruction manual and a whole lot of parts. So without further ado, let's get building. So I noticed on the Lego model for the Dark Trooper attack, there is kind of these blanks in each doorway. There are these two blank spots in this doorway in the floor and then there's this little play feature which I can definitely just take that thing out and then use that to connect it to the other rooms I want to add. So that is very nice that uh, those gaps are there so I can use that to connect the you know three different rooms or four different rooms. We'll see how crazy this project gets. So here are all of the dark troopers lined up and holy crap, that is a lot of Dark Troopers. And then we have a few Luke Skywalkers. If you're wondering what happened to the other Luke Skywalkers, I sold a few of them to keep the cost down. But the one without the hood is the one I'll be using uh, for this mock. So this is going to be pretty insane. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use all these Dark Troopers in the build, but I guess we're going to have to find out. All right, so I've completed the base of what I believe is going to be the Dark Trooper chamber where they're all, you know, charging and not in use and then you can activate them and then they, you know, obviously are activated and they can go kill whoever you want. Um, but yeah, this is the base. If you guys want to see, uh, it's pretty simple. I'm just making the floor right now and I think I'm going to make some walls. Uh, definitely because I think the hallway wall design I can basically just build that up from the Lego design and then change it how I'd like to make it more accurate to the kind of chamber I line up the dark troopers and this is probably how I want them I might remove a few to make it seem less crowded in there because you know I could probably remove that one uh, for sure It makes this look a lot more crowded than I think it really should be But I have some of them still lined up, you know charging up almost like fully booted And then these two are gonna be the ones that are punching the door and trying to break through that glass while Din Djarin is Hopefully we're going to be out here, you know, fighting a dark trooper and I think it'll be really cool to build that door and build the, you know, controls for that door. So let's start building up the walls and see what happens. I finished with the wall and the door for the most part um, for the dark trooper chamber and then you can see I posed some dark troopers on the front there punching the window and if you look at it from this side I added these uh, rounded kind of techniques that give it that Star Wars look the same technique Lego used quite a few times in this set and this door is basically going to lead out to a small area and I'll show you how I want these two sets to connect so I kind of want this sets to connect like this. This set will be here, and then there's going to be about this much space for, you know, the, you know, hallway outside of that door. So I'm, I want to put some controls somewhere around here for the door. So that means we're going to have to build a wall over here and perhaps a small wall over here. I don't know. And then I also would love to build either a wall right there or something right there, like the door uh, that we see the Dark Troopers get vacuumed out into space through. So I'm not sure, you know, which of these walls slash doors I'm going to create. I don't know what angle I really want to see these Dark Troopers from, but I have a feeling I'm going to be building this wall and then I might leave this um, semi open to kind of replicate the scene where they get sucked out into space. And I love the sticker sheet included. I have a feeling we can make something work, especially with the sticker up here. I think that'd be awesome for the door controls if I maybe cut this sticker in half. So I'm looking forward to that. And also uh, the sticker number two looks like it could help as well. So I'm probably going to use one or two of those and it's going to be awesome. So. All right. We now have for the most part completed this little area. So you can see over there, I have the controls 
Uh, I had to get creative with that sticker on the right because I had to put it on a rounded piece because there were no other square pieces that I could find to put it on. So it may look a little funky. I cut the edges of it so it looks a little rounded, the sticker, and so it fits with the rounded piece. And then over here at the doorway, we have uh, some of those clear pieces included in the set to kind of simulate the glass that is getting broken. And then over here we have the elevator kind of pieces, but I switched one of the stickers out so it doesn't look quite like an elevator. Uh, I really like how that whole doorway looks. And then if we take a look over here, you can see we have this wall and I'm leaving a little opening for accessibility right there. And if we turn over to the regular Dark Trooper set, you can see I'm starting on this wall. It's going to be a little bit different than the original wall's design like I used right there. It's going to be a little bit different to fit right there. I cannot wait to get this whole side done and then maybe I'll do a little bridge kind of build there because this hallway evidently leads to the bridge where you control the entire uh, light cruiser. And I cannot wait to add the minifigures in at the end. That is going to be awesome. So make sure you stick around for that. So after adding this ginormous addition to our mock, these are the only parts we had left. And that doesn't look like enough parts to complete what we're going for. So I picked up not one, not two, but three more Dark Trooper attack sets, and you know what that means. It means more parts, but also, it means more Dark Troopers. That's a lot of parts. Guys, take a look at all of those parts. That is a crap ton of parts. Cannot wait to add that to the build. Also, speaking of parts, look at all of those minifigures. Boy, oh boy, am I excited to add those Dark Troopers to the collection. And obviously, I don't need an army of Luke Skywalkers. You can get out of here. We just need these guys. I think it's time to work on the bridge. It should be an interesting base I have to construct because I want to do in the floor where it goes down where you can have all of your, you know, Imperials uh, controlling the light cruiser so i'm gonna to need to find a way to implement that into the base but also keep it the same height as that base which is not very tall so this should be fun all right so i somewhat completed a base for the bridge now it's a bit rough around the edges nowhere near as smooth as the other base i created but that's because i had to implement these little trenches that your officers can sit in and i'll have to add some controls in there as well so they're not just sitting there doing nothing but you can see i added some black parts in there so it looks pretty nice and refined but other than that this base does not look too great, to be honest with you. Over here, around this area, I'm going to be putting some of those controls for the door. The door, I think, looks pretty good. Uh, I use a lot of pieces in the middle there to kind of bulk it up and make it look like it's a pretty big door. Like, it's not very connected, and I really need to work on that. So, it there's going to have to be a lot of work done. So, I'll get back to you guys when that happens. All right. So, I built up a wall. And I also stabilized the build a whole lot more, so the connection to the rest of the build is much better. Although, I don't really think I could pick this up. I would not trust the build that much, but I think the connection is much better. I connected it over here with the Dark Trooper chamber with that little corner piece right there. Realize this looks a bit empty, right? You could expect some more controls over here and just more things in general, but... Before I go out and furnish that entire thing, we have to begin on the next section of the build because I don't want to use up all the parts making this room look good and then having to work with just, you know, what's left over for the prison cell. So, let's get right into the prison cell and start building the base for that. And then once we have the prison cell complete, then we'll come back to the bridge and see what we have left to work with. Here is the base. For the prison cell, it's the exact same size as the regular Dark Trooper attack set. I figured we could have a little entryway right about here with, uh, you know, maybe uh, room for some guards. And then inside the prison cell, obviously, we're going to have a doorway right here. And then a door that may or may not be blocked off. We'll see. And then we'll have, you know, in here, the little bench in the uh, detention cell. And I think this is going to turn out pretty well, but hopefully we have enough parts to uh, put walls. I, I at least want a wall right here and right here. And then in the entryway, I'll probably have to do a wall right about there. But I might leave this spot open uh, for some accessibility. So I'm going to get started on that. Okay, so we made some very good progress on this detention cell. Now the lighting isn't very good because of this piece and this piece kind of um, stopping that light from going down there and causing some shadows. So I do apologize for that. But 
As you can see, we have the bench there in the cell. That is here's the little hallway right outside of the prison cell. And I think it looks very nice with that rounded doorway. But as you can see, I have a lot of parts left. So we're going to fully furnish the bridge. And then once we complete the bridge, we'll see what we have left. And I have a little something planned. So definitely don't go anywhere. All right. So I believe I finished building the kind of furniture and everything uh, in the bridge. As you can see, I had to get very creative with the parts I have left for this set. I still have a ton of parts, but a lot of them are just awkward pieces that don't really help. I really, really tried with those controls over there, but the stickers in this set were just not cutting it. Like nothing, nothing really works except for that door control over there. But you need to have the other controls too, which... <laughs> That just does not work at all. I did make a little chair though. I'm I'm very proud of that chair. And then over here, uh, I added a kind of wall there. It's just completely black. And then uh, that one is too, but I couldn't build it up as high. Uh, I basically started building this because I didn't like that you could see the dark trooper chamber if you just looked over here. So now we have that there. But bonus, it also, you know, you could say it looks like space. It's a little Since I didn't build any of those elevators in this set, I have a ton of those rounded pieces left, and I have a pretty good idea for what I could do with them. I kind of want to build a space closet, just for fun. I, I don't know. Uh, it just seems like a fun little Easter egg to have in there, and with all of these rounded parts we have left, I think it's a pretty good idea. So I'm going to build that up, and then I'll see you there. All right, the space closet is officially completed. Uh, you can see we have a lightsaber in there and some other, you know, random parts from the set. Uh, wish I had some cooler accessories to put in there from the set, but unfortunately we did not. Anyway, we are done with the build, but we're not done yet. Because we need to add the minifigures. All right, I have placed in all of the minifigures, so without further ado, let's get into this. We'll start over here at the Dark Trooper chamber and kind of circle around and make our way around the entire, entire build. Man, this is impressive. We're going to take a full look at it, so don't go anywhere. So, here we have Din Djarin stabbing a Dark Trooper, you know, through that helmet with his Beskar spear. That is how he wins out against one of them. And then... Over there, like I showed earlier, the Dark Troopers are trying to punch through that little glass window. And then you have, I added a few more Dark Troopers in here, actually, just to give you the vibe that there's a ton of them in there. And it's it's definitely working right there. There's a lot of Dark Troopers there. And then if we go over here, I also added Dark Troopers in the hallway, punching down that door. Uh, I have tons of different, like, time periods from that episode all in this mock, so that is why you'll see that Luke is actually in the elevator, so obviously these events aren't timed uh, completely correct, but that is the purpose of this mock, is to just fit as many minifigures in there and as many scenes as possible, so it's pretty cool. And then if we look over here, we actually have some stormtroopers guarding the brig, aka the detention level of the uh, light cruiser, and it is a tight fit in there, like, as you can see, the stormtrooper there takes up a lot of the hallway space. Kind of unfortunate that it happened like that. But if we take a look in the prison cell, we have Moff Gideon with the dark saber next to Grogu, and he is waiting for Din Djarin to make his way down there. And I also added this little cargo crate in the prison to make it feel not so empty. And then the biggest room, and perhaps my favorite room, is going to be the bridge. So here we have our three heroes, Bo-Katan, Fennec Shand, and Cara Dune. I am missing uh, Bo-Katan's friend, I forgot her exact name, because LEGO hasn't made an official version of her yet, but that will change in summer of 2024. Can't wait till that battle pack comes out. Over here we have a protocol droid, the one from the TIE Fighter. A Stormtrooper just fell over, if you're wondering what that noise was, just set it back, so we're good. And then over there, in those, uh, you know, control spots, we have some different officer-type troops. That's a Navy troop, I believe, right there. And then that is a some sort of gunner-type troop. Uh, yeah, so they're all in there, and they're all obviously looking towards there, because the heroes just broke in. I don't know why the door would be shut if the heroes just broke in. Ignore that little detail. And then we have a Stormtrooper commander here. 
And I'm actually going to turn this around so we can get a front view of our villains. So the Stormtrooper Commander, it's the new Stormtrooper Mech Stormtrooper with a custom pauldron and a very nice elongated blaster, which I think is a very nice touch for the Commander. And then we have Tala Durith, which works very well for Moff Gideon's officer. I'm going to just pull her up because I can't get a good um, you know, image of her from down there. And I think the face is pretty accurate to Moff Gideon's officer that we see in The Mandalorian Season 2 and Season 3. Don't like her appearance in Season 3 very much but season two was all right. And then we have another stormtrooper over there, obviously going to fight uh, the heroes that are trying to come in, but they will uh, fail if you have watched the episode. Spoiler alerts. Uh, but yeah, that is it for the mock. Wow. This is definitely probably my favorite video I've ever worked on. First time I've ever done a mock in my life. And <laughs> I love that closet over there. Got a gonk droid and a security droid. I don't think I actually covered that yet. So yeah, I have the closet there exactly how I showed it, except I added that gonk droid and that security droid, aka uh, KS20 from Rogue One, uh, just kind of sitting there and maybe they're organizing some things in the closet. I, I don't know. I just felt like I should put them there. It's a fun little Easter egg. But that is going to be it for the mock. Leave a like if you guys think I did a good job on this mock. And if you want to see more mock videos, definitely tell me in the comments below. This was very fun. It took almost 10 Dark Trooper attack sets, all the parts from there. I have a ton of Dark Troopers still you know, there, ignore all the stuff on my desk. It's kind of messy, but I still have a ton of Dark Troopers left even after loading up this room with dark troopers and that hallway with dark troopers and a dark trooper over there like there's just so many dark troopers and that's what happens when you buy you know 10 plus dark trooper sets i think we got all the key components of moff gideon's light cruiser for the most part you know apart from the hangar bay which would be impossible to do at a decent scale uh with these parts anyway with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Again, leave a comment if you enjoyed today's video and if you want more mock type videos. I have more planned, so whether you want more or not, they are coming. But if you guys comment that you like this video, I will definitely be even more motivated to have more ideas come up and more sets to kind of make mocks from. So with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out.